Welcome to New Day Cleveland. I'm Natalie Herbeck and we are on the road again and this time we are in Amish country, beautiful Amish country. Already I've been able to experience the rolling hills and the horses and buggies, but this is my first time here. So I'm gonna need a little bit of help just kind of giving me the lay of the land. Let me know what I can expect. So I'm gonna go meet her right now. All right, Vicki, I definitely think is the best person to give me kind of a lay of the land here and explain to me what Amish country is all about. What I really want to know is everybody keeps saying, you know, Ohio's Amish country. What does that really consist of? What areas? There are about eight counties in the state of Ohio that are considered part of Ohio's Amish country. The largest concentration is probably in the Berlin, Walnut Creek, Charm, Sugar Creek area. It's where you'll see beautiful rolling hills, a lot of uh, rural countryside, farming. You can be out driving around and see the Amish working in their fields with horses and uh, not traditional tractors and wagons and that kind of thing. So it's a totally different lifestyle that that is just uh, sort of s helps you to remove yourself from your regular routine. What are, what are the people like here? The people, I've lived here all my life. So to me, it's the way we that I've always lived in the way they've always lived, but they're very industrious, they, they're, they're entrepreneurs, there's a lot of cottage industry, a lot of families that have a lot of children, and since there's less farmland than there used to be, they do a lot more uh, furniture making and other types of, of industry and businesses that they can do on their own property with their children and their families. Well, you said in uh, uh, making, business making, industry mm -hmm. making, different things, and uh, I know the first place I'm going to is Kime Lumber, mm -hmm. and I hear that that's a pretty interesting place. It is amazing, and that is a family business as well. They've been in business, I believe, over 100 years, so. All yes. right, well, I am going to check that out right now. I think I might have already bit off a little more that I can chew. I think we could do a whole show inside of this one store. This is Kime Lumber. We're talking about building a home, furnishing it, just about everything you could find is right inside of these walls. So I'm going to need a little bit of help. So I'm gonna go find Eric to give us a little tour. Well, I found some, if you can't see already, amazing, amazing woodwork. I also found Eric <laughs> right in the middle of all of this. I think this really sums up uh, just some of what you guys can do. Yeah, really, this is this is the heart of our store here by the building materials desk. And I mean, yeah. the, the floor even. Check out this floor. <laughs> yeah. This and is what you guys started as, this right? This is what we started as. Kind Lumber started back in 1911, just as a small lumber mill right here at the bottom of the hill in Charm. And it's just grown over the years um, into the complete building center that you see today. I mean, how so, big is this building? What are we talking well, about here? Well, this building here, our showroom is 125,000 square feet. Wow. And, you know, when we opened this new space in 2007, we wanted a space that customers can come in and experience the products. So you're not just looking at a catalog, you're not just looking at a box. You see it out of the wrapper, you can turn the lights on and off, you can turn the shower heads off and on. Really? Come back and see finished kitchens. Yeah, it's very interactive. So you start with the, all of the building materials, but I mean, just looking around, I mean, mm -hmm. decks, there's a lot yeah. that you can just purchase. With this right behind us home. here is our large deck display. And this is all synthetic decking, Trex decking, but it's uh, the good stuff, the right? Good stuff. That's yeah. the good stuff. It's not going to rot and it's not going to splinter uh, low wow. maintenance. So. But again, it's we're very display oriented here. We want people to to be able to experience the products before they install them in their home. So, and just yeah. around the corner, uh, there's cabinetry display work. There's lighting. Yep. What else is here? Cabinetry display, hardware, tools. We also have a tool renter, rental center. We have a millwork department, and that's really our bread and butter. When you look around the showroom, all of the millwork was done here in our mill. So there's 50,000 feet of cherry that that encompasses the showroom. Are you kidding so, me? So yeah. how, this is a family-owned and operated business? Family-owned and operated. It's been in the Kime family since 1911. We're currently under third and fourth generation ownership with Bill Kime as president, his son Ravi as vice president. I think yeah. one of the other great things, what I love the most that I was so excited about was the fact that you guys do free delivery we do. within 150 miles of free it? Delivery or what's with, the... Yeah, within 150 miles. Yeah. I, that, that definitely has to be a big plus. It is. All right. It's well, big. Can we go, can we see a little bit more of this, this yes. huge, huge store? Well, why don't we head back? One of the little kind of treasures that we have here is our exotic wood shed. Okay. Can we go see that? I'd love to see that. Okay. Let's do that. 
One of the other fun parts of the store here is our exotic woodshed, and this is really like a candy store for, for woodworkers. I was just gonna say, I think yeah. you can help them achieve those dreams <laughs> just by looking. I mean, when you walk in these pieces of wood, this is, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, these are live edge slabs that we have that we have here. Uh, the tree is actually just sliced oh my gosh. into many slabs, and then it's it's gone through the drying process. But in here, you know, we have we have wood for all kinds of woodworkers, hobbyists, craftsmen, you know, instrument makers, folks that are doing uh, turning pen blanks, making desks. Yeah. Like what would? Well, what's that? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, what would you do this, with that? This is a piece of, of juniper, but it, it could be used for um, you know a column in a home, um, things to accent the home. So in here we have wood from all over the world. There's zebra wood that's striped, leopard wood that's spotted. Right around the corner here is purple heart from Brazil. That's wow. its actual color. So, you know, wood has so many different textures and shapes and colors. Um, Can your you get a shot unlimited. of this? Look at, is this a coffee? What is this? Yeah, it was, it's, a, it's a slab, big leaf burl. Um, but yeah, you could finish it out. It could be a coffee table. Wow. Then there's a, a natural rustic base, redwood base as well. So this is just unbelievable. So people come in here and they can ask for just about anything to be made out of this. Pretty stuff. much, if you can dream it, we can make it if it's out of wood. Yeah. That's it. Do you have anything yeah. else you think? Well, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's just so much. I don't even know where to <laughs> where to go next. Here you see kind of a finished slab, but right across behind us is a 500 year old slab of babinga. And wow. that's from Africa. We put the dates in there so you can really see, um, so you can really see what was happening as the tree grew uh, throughout history. I'm so glad you took me here through Kaim Lumber. I mean, honestly, I do think people's dreams can come true well, in this I place. So. And hey, you really can spend the whole day here. They have, yeah. what? what's it called upstairs? The Carpenter's Cafe. Carpenter's Cafe. Yep. So if you get hungry when you're taking your little tour, you can go snack on 